Hello and welcome. You are here with me, jewelry designer Jill Maurer. I am so grateful that you are here. This video has been requested by several people and the question is, what is the difference between my Raleigh necklace and my Durham necklace? I realize that the website doesn't show the difference very well right now. So I will show you the difference between the Raleigh and the Durham and also the small Raleigh. These are similar pieces. Okay, I'm going to start with this piece right here. This is the Raleigh and I have this on in the 17 inch. I do make this in 17 inch, 20 inch and 24 inch. And I'm gonna get close to you here so that you can see this. This is the Raleigh. That is one side and here is the other side. So it is very similar on both sides. This necklace is part of my Lasco collection. It was inspired by the Hall of Bulls, which are ancient cave drawings within the Lasco cave. One of the fascinating things about this cave, in addition to the cave art, which is spectacular, it has depth, perspective, it is so far beyond anything we realized we were doing 17,000 years ago. When this was discovered in 1940, it was quite the surprise because nobody thought that we were that creative that long ago, but we were. Part of what they did is they also carved out the cave itself. They carved out different tunnels and they actually created different rooms within the cave. So it is quite the architectural feat in addition to the artistic feat. And this necklace celebrates that. I created this pattern to celebrate the fact that the cave itself was intricately carved. And that is why I created this necklace. It does have my river texture on the side here. You can see that there and on this side. So that is the inspiration behind this piece. And this is in sterling silver. It also comes in gold, in 18 karat gold. When it's in 18 karat gold, the chain is a little bit different. I'll show you an example of that. And then I'm gonna show you too, if we can see it. This is the clasp. So that is my logo right there. I've done it this way so that it is, it is easy to hook and wear. And what you do wanna do, this one's a little bit loose. Before I ever send it to you, I tighten it up. And every once in a while, you wanna take your piece and do this. And that you just, what you do is you just take this and just squeeze it just a little bit. Don't be afraid of that. Cause what you wanna do is you want that to have a tight connection. And that is how you take it on and off. Now let's compare this. Oh, let me show you the top here. The logo is also right there on the top of the piece. I don't know if that's really gonna get into focus, but there it is. So that is the Raleigh in sterling silver. Now, here is the Durham, and it has the same clasp here. This is why there's confusion. Look at that. It's very similar, isn't it? But what you'll notice about the Durham, and this is actually the piece I've designed first, the Durham is different on the other side. That is what it looks like on this side. And I originally created the Durham. This was to show the Hall of Bulls, and then with this river texture, and then this was to show the cave was intricately carved. So behind the art is a bigger story, and that story is about the carving. And that is why I had designed this piece this way. When I did it though, a lot of people requested that I do this on both sides. There are some people who just prefer being able to see all the way through the piece, here they are together, and you can see there's a slight difference. One of the pieces you can see all the way through, and there were just some people who wanted to be able to see all the way through the piece, and that is why I created the Raleigh. Now, why did I name them these? The first one I did was Durham. I live in Raleigh, but Durham is a, is a close by city, so I spend a lot of time in both Durham and Raleigh, and Durham is the city of bulls. In fact, the Durham bulls are there, and uh, you'll remember the movie Bull Durham. And so that's why I called it the Durham, just as an homage to living here. So when I created this piece, which is very much the sister piece, that is why I called this the Raleigh. So I hope that answers questions about this. Of course, on the Durham, you also still have the logo. The logo is still on the top and you have the same, the same clasp. So that is the difference between the Raleigh and the Durham. Now, there is also a small Raleigh. Here is the small Raleigh. 
There are two main differences between the Raleigh and the small Raleigh. One is the small Raleigh is smaller. The other is the small Raleigh has a stone. In this case, it has that amethyst right there at the top that you can see. I also do it with a blue sapphire and with a rhodolite garnet, and a rhodolite garnet is pink. This one is really small, there you go. There is the logo at the top. And so this one, because it's the Raleigh, is, is the same on both sides, but really you'd wear it this way most of the time because that is the one that has the stone. That's the side that has the stone. Here are the two. This is the Raleigh and the small Raleigh side by side. So you can kind of see the scale difference there. And before you ask, I did not make a small Durham. I don't have a small Durham. But there you go. There is the Raleigh versus the small Raleigh. I also happen to have the small Raleigh in 18 karat gold here. And I just wanted to show you this. The one in 18 karat gold is the same size. It has a diamond. It's 18 karat gold and diamond. The biggest difference here, ooh, that thunder. The biggest difference here is the chain. This is a square box chain, and this is a more traditional uh, round link chain. It is a lighter chain, but still quite sturdy. So there it is in 18 karat gold. And there is the other side. So if you get the Raleigh or the Durham in 18 karat gold, this is the chain that you get. And then of course it has the same class, but this time in 18 karat gold. So there you go. I hope that answers your questions about the difference between the Raleigh and the Durham. We even threw the small Raleigh in there so you could see the difference between that. I do hope that helped you. If there is anything that I didn't answer, if there's anything more that you want to see, just let me know and I will show it to you. Thank you again for being here. I so appreciate you and I would love to see you here again tomorrow. Until then.